Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this one we are getting it all in Evan's Remains. A game developed by only one man, Matthias Schmeid, and published by Whitethorn Digital. It is available for just £5.79 and takes around an hour to complete. Now, to be honest, for one guy to make this story and get who he has on board to make up such an incredible story and a stunning game is beyond awesome. Few things to note though, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of dialogue in this game as we try to uncover the mystery and find the genius boy Evan. And I do highly suggest actually reading through all of the dialogue and enjoying the game as it's meant to be, as it is, in my opinion, absolutely sensational. Uh, reading through all of the dialogue and that will take you around two to three hours. But if you're just after a quick 1000, you can actually just skip all the puzzles. You have the option to skip all the puzzles and fast forward through all the dialogue, which isn't a bad option of course, but to be honest I think I would have preferred it if that wasn't included, but it's all good anyway. Also I've made this as a full-ish game walkthrough so we can unlock all the achievements and trophies at the exact same time so you know where they unlock in case one gets sort of glitched later down the line or something. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this absolute beautiful game. So there are six zones, well, 6.5 zones, as there is one for 4 and 4.5. But as you can see, straight away, um, press the pause button, go to fast forward dialogue, press yes, and it'll just absolutely, it'll fly through it. So you don't have to keep clicking A. Uh, you don't have to keep on pressing it. If you're in a conversation with one guy, you can literally just... Press fast forward dialogue once and it'll just um, slam through and then of course for the next character you'll have to do you'll have to keep on doing that so so these are what the puzzles look like throughout the game then there'll be a lot of these but we'll just be completing this one and that's it so jump on the platform twice then jump on the next platform and then jump on the bottom platform again once and that means you can now jump over that will be your first achievement of the game for completing one puzzle and that will be that. And literally now for the rest of the game, we will just be skipping them. So this is the next puzzle. You can complete them if you want. They are, you know, very... They're easy enough puzzles, but go ahead, skip the puzzle. And what will happen now is a sort of loading screen will happen. And there we go. So you get an achievement then for skipping a puzzle as well. But the majority of levels... So again, any sort of puzzles like... This, literally any puzzles and any dialogue. If you just want the quicker thousand, just skip it all easily located so you shouldn't have any issues um so as i was saying there are six zones in the entire game well 6.5 in the entire game and all you're doing then is just you can just keep running to the right you don't have to go left you don't have to go right it's literally just all to the right skip the dialogue skip the puzzles until we get to the very end like i said there are a lot of cutscenes and there are a lot of dialogue so We'll keep skipping on, but I, I honestly, I do highly, highly recommend actually looking at the dialogue as this game is so brilliantly written. It is absolutely fantastic. It, one I absolutely thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, so I think that's it. There's only two miscellaneous achievements that we will be getting, which of course I will say when we get to it. Otherwise, you just enjoy the game at your own leisure. Look at the background, absolutely stunning little background. The music just works so well with the game as well. And I shall be back with you guys when we are going to hit those few achievements. By the way, you don't actually have to do what I do. And I, I kept pausing and fast forwarding the dialogue. Literally, you only need to do it once. And obviously when the dialogue bubbles start talking slow, then you do it again. But for some reason I didn't figure that out <laughs> for the first 5 to 10 minutes. So, do it once is enough. So we are on to zone two now. Uh, again, very, it's exactly the same thing as we've been doing throughout the majority of the game. We'll be enjoying it, but we will be skipping, skipping everything, jumping if that 
if you think that makes it go quicker, which apparently I did. Um, whether I don't know if that's a myth. That that'll be a case for a gaming mythbuster. But otherwise, it's exactly the same. So just carry on enjoying it.
So then, this is where the first missable achievement out of two will come into it. So as soon as you reach zone four here, quit out of the main menu. And immediately when we get back into it, go down to, uh, press the A button here, go down to language, and make sure to change it to Spanish. Espanol. Espanol Nuevo Egua. Sorry, my Spanish is disgusting. Sorry if I just offended all the Spanish people out there with my uh, pathetic attempt um, <laughs> at Spanish. So you should obviously know it's the third option down in the main menu to skip puzzles and fast forward dialogue. But this is very important as you and your mysterious character that we are chasing are going to eventually end up having a picnic. And if you left it in English, they'd have a cheeky cup of brew because that's what the British love doing. But there's another drink that the Spanish drink and as long as your language is in Spanish, that's the drink they drink and that is the achievement unlocked. So it doesn't unwind for another couple of, uh, it doesn't unlock, sorry, for another couple of minutes yet. But like I said, as soon as you reach zone 4, chuck it into Spanish, keep playing through the level, and the achievement should automatically unlock for you as long as it is in Espanolish. So then this is zone 4.5 and I know I said you were having to uh, switch the language to Spanish at the beginning of zone 4 but you could easily just do it here in zone point uh, 4.5 as this is actually where it happens but it's again you could do it literally at any point if you wanted to um, but I only done it as zone 4 as a sort of just in case measure because you never know somehow you may end up missing stuff etc etc but like I said if you've uh, stuck to English got up to zone 4.5 don't worry it was in zone 4 you didn't miss it it is actually in this one so there we go
This is where the achievement unlocks then, as soon as we get back into it, automatically unlocks again as long as you got the language in Spanish. And as soon as this bit's done, feel free to quit straight out, wait until you get to another save point of course. Feel free to quit out, turn it back to English, and then we can happily move on. But hopefully I did, like I said, I let you know a couple of times so hopefully you haven't missed this one. And it, it only it takes 15 minutes to get back to it anyway, so...
So yeah, that was plenty of dialogue and cutscene to get through there, but as soon as we get to this point after all that, go to the left, do not go to the right, as soon as you get to this sort of area, go straight up to the pillar, you'll have to wait for about 5 to 10 seconds for the autosave to kick in, so have a little jump around if you want, even if you do pause the game like I do here, it'll still autosave it, but you'll have to wait for just a couple of seconds, there it goes, look, happy days. And then when that happens, quit out to the main menu and we'll continue back in and we'll end up to the left side of the puzzle now, which is exactly what we need because this is the second out of two missable achievements. So jump on the bottom platform twice first, then jump on the next two platforms, jump off. Jump back onto it and then uh, jump on the big L sort of shape there and jump back off of that. Jump on the bottom platform twice, and then that is as easy as that. That should be your second and final missable achievement. This is normal, this bit, so do not worry about that. And then it's happy days, so you get that achievement there all done, and now we can just carry on right to the very end of the game now. There's only this and I think one more zone left to do. Zone 7 does again have a lot of dialogue um, and a lot of cutscene, but again, it's super, super interesting.
So we are not too far from the end now, uh, there's so really there's nothing left for you to do except just keep smashing A, reading the dialogue, or pressing the fast forward dialogue button. There's really, you, you don't have to walk anywhere or do anything now, so it's all again just enjoying it as we fade the game out. Beautiful! So this is where we get the Goodbye Dices achievement, and we play as the new character. Uh, the only reason I'm commenting on this is because I just want to say the Dices sounds like a type of Hoover, and I found that hilarious. That's it. <laughs>
I'm not actually going to spoil this bit for you, of course if you've just been fast forwarding and smashing through it You're not gonna really know who the uh, two dead bodies are, so I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not actually gonna spoil it for you because if you've done that I, I highly suggest you play through the game again to find out exactly what went on because again in my eyes absolute perfection the way this game sort of was and even how it ended even though it ended quite heartbreakingly So there we have it then, that is the end of the game, but we do have two achievements left now after this one. And that is for watching the whole of the credits anyway, you can't skip them, so again you might as well just either go make yourself a cheeky cup of tea like, or just again enjoy the honestly absolute beauty of this bit of music and this sort of ending screen right here. It's going to take a couple of minutes uh, for it to nip off, but when you do finish the credits, you will get another achievement uh, called For The Backers, and that is for really everyone who donated and made this game an absolute possibility, which I found just extraordinary as well. So again, congratulations, and honestly, thank you to everyone out there who did donate to this game, because it was absolutely fantastic. And I do hope that uh, Mr. Schmeid does make another game. Let's hope in the future, either a, a, another game like this or absolutely anything else, because it was brilliant. But anyway, so there's that achievement right there, but what we'll do now, there is a little bit of gameplay left if you wanted, but what I'm going to do right here is quit, because we've got one more achievement left to get, and that is basically for 
um, just taking over 15 minutes to complete a puzzle. So what we're going to do, of course, is press the A button here. I'll just let you know. There you go. So we've got one more achievement left to get. Start a new game, overwrite your previous save, get to the first puzzle, and then just stand around, watch something on your phone, you know, touch yourself, do whatever you want to do for 15 minutes. That's a, you know, it's a lot, a lot of time, plenty of time to do that. So, uh, you know, just keep wiggling your sort of character back and forth so the controller doesn't die. But that is it. You literally have to wait 15 minutes, and that's that. So this then is where I'm going to say my goodbyes, guys and gals. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, hopefully this sort of full-ish walkthrough did help you out in case you did get stuck or anything like that. Even though, again, with all the skipping, you shouldn't have really got any stuck. But hopefully, in any ways, I do hope it helps. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Check me out on all my social medias too. I've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Patreon. And this is where the achievement will unlock pretty soon. So if you do check me out on any of those, give me an ad on Xbox as well, guys and gals. But again, thank you so, so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Big love.